Hello guys, my, my name is Denny. Uh, this is my first video I'm doing for YouTube, so please don't be too harsh on me. Um, I have one called Diagnostics, um, and I'm a great fan, supporter, however you want to say it, of Martin Lauren and HScope. So, what I want to do today is I ordered the HS512 Max the second he sent me the pre order thing, and it just came in the mail, so I would like to get it open and show you guys what it looks like, how it came in the package, um, and uh, maybe we'll get to use it a little bit or something. I'm excited, so I just want to open it. Um, once again, I recorded this once, and I babbled too much, and it sounded terrible, so I'm trying to do a voiceover on my first video, so it might be screwy, choppy, but I apologize. Um, the next ones will be better. Uh, thank you very much. So let's get right into it. Uh, little plastic bag it came in. Um, cardboard box we got here but the secret is inside the cardboard box that's what we want right there um it, uh, it comes in a in a, in a big uh, anti-static bag which is really cool for shipping um you never know um and then it, the new thing is it came with this really cool hard case zipper pouch thing it goes in with a, little, with a little lanyard on it um which is really neat because the last one my hs502 did not come with any such uh any such such packaging so it's neat to have something to protect it in um, and it's very convenient like I can literally pretty much have my whole diagnostic business in that case if it wasn't for the leads and the amp plan and all that stuff um, but anyway so without further ado uh, like I said it's 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 very how do you say it? it's very very simple it's not hard to use but it does the the the, the I don't want to say it has the capabilities to do professional grade oscilloscope stuff as long as you know how to use it and use H scope. Um, which brings me to my next point. Um, I'm actually starting this channel to do like basically an H scope focused uh, video series because um, I haven't found one yet. So this is going to start from like the basics of like just taking a battery voltage reading to testing the testing the charging system to uh, relative compression test with amp plant amp voltage all the way up to in cylinder pressure waves and uh, first look sensors and I mean we're going to do all kinds of stuff on here um, so if you guys have any pointers for my videos any comments questions concerns anything like that please let me know um, like I said I hope to do uh, many more videos and I hope this is accepted well or received well I guess I should say um, but like I said uh, I Eight, Martin Lauren and H Scope is is great. Um, I use it every day, all day in my diagnostic business. I actually do this full time for myself. Well, I mean, I don't have that many cars, but I do it for myself and go around to other shops and garages and do it for them. Um, so it works. I'm telling you, it works. I have, I have proof of it. I can send you tons of videos and happy customers because of H Scope. Um, and it's so much more convenient to pull out a laptop and all this stuff everywhere I got to go. I just pull out my tablet, boom, plug it in, run with it, or, you know, run the Wi-Fi, whatever I got to do. So, uh, like I said, without further ado, um, let's go to the next part of the video and let's use it. Hello, guys. My, my name is Denny. Uh, this is my first video I'm doing for YouTube, so please don't be too harsh on me. Um, I have one called Diagnostics, um, and I'm a great fan, supporter, however you want to say it, of Martin Lauren and H Scope. So what I want to do today is I ordered the HS512 Max. Hey guys, it's Denny back here again. Um, if I'm being honest, the first thing I want to get out of the way is I'm using my Samsung S24 Ultra to record these videos as of right now. Um, I have it set on HK and full resolution, so I don't know how it's going to turn out like size wise on the screen of a computer or phone to watch it so uh, please bear with me because if it's terrible then I'll have to change the way I do it next time um, but I just wanted to do a first just the first use of the 512 Max um, I wanted to uh, kind of record it so everybody could see it um, this is what I'm going to use for my pickup um, I actually have made this uh, this is a uh, 3D printed little box thing there with a, a, a relay in it, uh, and I have just put it inside this to sit it on top of the uh, ignition coils. This is the first design, so it's got tape on it, whatever, but it works. Um, and then these are actually my 
my, my BNC to BNC connector is uh, actually them cheap, you know, the cheap leads that come with the alligator clip on them. I just solder them together, I mean, like this. And uh, that's that. And I wanted to tell you guys also, um, if you need a really long BNC to BNC connector, right? Take the automotive lead to the really long and connect the red to the red, the black to the black. Boom, you got a BNC to BNC cord that's, I don't know, eight feet long or more. Um, but without further ado, let's get into the rest of this here. Thanks for time. Um, also, I wanted, to, I wanted to show you this. This is the little, this is the case that the HS512 Max comes in. Um, this little black hard shell thing here. Uh, but if I unzipper it, look at that, boom. I got a test lead in there, the on the go cords in there, HS512 Max, and this is actually the, the little top dawn top scan. Best, best scan tool for the money, I would say, that you can get. Like this thing is impressive for the money you pay for it and the things it'll do. Um, it's the only thing it doesn't do pretty much is program modules, but it does bi-directional controls and active tests and I mean suspension relearning on the Land Rover, I mean, it does all kinds of stuff, um, but that's, if you're looking for a cheap, inexpensive scan tool, this is the one right here, but it kind of matches my, matches my pods well, they kind of go together, man, they fit perfect with that little lead, shut it, zipper it up, um, but let's get into this here now, you obviously don't need this, this lead here, it's one of those grab, it's like a grab, like a grab, grab case, you know what I mean, it's got, that's just a little cheap alligator clip lead, but you never know what situation you might be in, so, um, pull the on the go cord out there. Pull the 512 Max out here. Okay. We'll plug her in. Real simple USB. Gold plated connectors. US to USB C. Okay. Uh, we're going to go, like I said, BNC into there. BNC into channel 1. Hey guys, back again. I'm sorry about cutting the last section off there a little short. Uh, I went to plug the scope into my phone and push the button on the S pen and stop the video recording. So I just decided to go straight into the uh, H scope part of it anyway and just get her done. Um, so we got that all hooked up as I showed you guys. Uh, one thing I didn't get to show you is I usually put a, a, a carabiner or I have a like a fancy thing I 3D printed to uh, hold my wires so like they run from the scope up through like a clip hanging on the hood latch the hood catch there um, and then back down to my whatever I got hooked to that way nothing doesn't pull in the scope if I pull the scope off the car or keep them up off the motor so okay now we got that done now we're going to open up uh, we're going to open up H scope here Let's see what it is. okay now we got H scope open we're going to change the sample right here I usually just go straight to 150 I'm going to turn off channel 2, we don't need it, normal trigger, I'm going to turn this up to right around there somewhere for now, and like I said, I don't know if I, if I, if I, if anybody knows this, I guess I should say, but I don't use the settings for secondary ignition pickup, because every time I do use one that has that multiplier like that, that, that thousand or minus a thousand to get the kilovolt thing, I don't know why, but my phone or my tablet don't like it. So as long as I just use the regular, like the 1X, or if I have an attenuator plugged in, like on my HS502, because I only did 16 volt, I would use a 20 to 1 attenuator, and I would just change the probe setting right here to 20 to 1. You know what I mean? Um, so I quit doing that, and I just use, or I quit using the, the actual uh, the setting, and I actually just use the multiplier or whatever, and it works way better. And I have any freeze, like it doesn't freeze up on me. So uh, let's see what we get here. Let's see what we get here. Let's slide her down here. We gotta slide this down here to where we can see her. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Right off the rip. Right from the rip. We get a beautiful secondary ignition pickup. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Um, like I said, I I don't think you can ask for much better than that. I mean, I really don't. Like, I mean, that's. <laughs> I mean, that's perfect. And and that took me. Less than 30 seconds to set up, and I'm getting secondary ignition. Now let's go to the next one. Damn, there's the next one. Looks like I need to do a little, uh, little, little, little investigation there. Looks like I got a little bit of a. Uh, yeah, it's got a little, little down strike there on the KV. Looks like a little bit of outside the cylinder action there. Let's see what this looks like. That one's the same. Oh, that one's pretty. That one's a little different. Or worse. 
That one's better. That's the best one so far. I think it might be time for a little, uh, a little ignition work here on this, on my car. Um, but my, my, the best, like I tell everybody, just I know this video is kind of advanced for the beginning, but I just wanted to get a, get a quick first use of the HS512 Max here. Um, but like I tell everybody, the best, the best thing I found is I take my scope outside to my own car and I say okay well I want to get a good secondary ignition ready for me today so I get out my H scope and I play with the settings and I okay that works and that makes it worse and I go back and forth and when I find out what works write it down save it I mean whatever you got to do you know to make it to make it easier for you to remember next time but then you do that and then that way when you go to the next car that at least gives you base settings to to make it not really quicker, but you know, it stumbles it around. I mean, you go to a car for, uh, I go, like I said, right there, I go 150 kilo samples, bam, and it works every time on most vehicles. Um, if I do that and I get a max out of range, I'll go grab an attenuator, do some more adjusting. Sometimes you got to invert it through a filter, you know, but I mean, that's, that's gorgeous. And like, I have seen, I couldn't get that good of a secondary ignition pick up on my Pico scope that I gave away. <laughs> Um, so, I just tell you my opinion on H scope. Like I said, I give Martin Springs all the time. The man does an outstanding job. Um, and like I said, this is literally just, this is a relay um, with the hot and negative, well hot, positive and negative lead so to the coil side. So, not the, not the, not the action side, but the coil side with the, with the, uh, now I'm stuttering, this looks terrible. The resistor removed between the two. You now they put a resistor in there to help to help the, the back the backlash when it's when the coil closes. So I take that out. The coil lifts, I should say. So I take that out, and then I just solder this solder my BNC connector to the hot and negative of the positive and negative of the uh, relay coil, either side, whatever. Don't make a difference. And then, bam, you got a secondary ignition pickup. And I think the coils work better than platinum copper or a penny or and this day, it didn't cost me no two, three, four hundred dollars either to buy one of these. I made it myself for about mm, three ninety nine. Um, but anyway, guys, I just that is that's just a beautiful, beautiful secondary ignition. Um, and also, I would like to say that I'm going to do a uh, a review on on signals and pickups and things with the uh, HS four hundred two. It is designed by Martin Lauren in H scope, um, but I personally bought mine from Liberty Electronics. Um, already built with the battery in it and everything, um, so we will get to that too. But uh, this is just something I wanted to throw together quick. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, please come back. We'll get plenty more information and plenty more videos we'll do together. Um, if you have any questions or want to point anything out you would like to see, that would be awesome. If you guys could point out what you would like to see, like to make this, make it so I'm not talking about things you guys don't aren't even interested in uh, that'd be really cool but thank you very much i hope you guys enjoy please like share comment notification bell do all that stuff uh thank you very much